Howdy, sup chums, this is Skinny Rollers 84 we're going to start a new game today of Lords of the Fallen because, eh, why not? So I've pretty much beat all the Souls games I've available to me, I haven't had a chance to play Bloodborne yet, and this is apparently one of the few uh, Dark Souls imitators out there, and it's in my backlog, so what the heck, why not? Now I did play a little bit of this just, uh, uh, just to test gameplay audio and such, so I'm probably not going to get the first few achievements here, but eh, what the heck. I didn't get too far into it, and I can't exactly yeah, see look how much time. 49 minutes, yeah. Not even that much. And fortunately, there's not a way for me to delete that, so we're just gonna make do with this. So this is kind of interesting. It uh, lets you kind of do your own little weird uh, kind of. How should I say this? Loadouts here. So there are kind of some more skills in here, which is a little bit different than the uh, standard Dark Souls. So there's kind of some more action skills in here. Maybe a little bit more like Diablo? I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, so we got the Warrior. I'll look through this one. And apparently our dude's name is Harkine. Harkin. I'm not 100% sure what's all good in this. What's all viable and everything. So rogue stuff. Da, 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 da. Or deception, sorry. And this is probably a little more magic oriented. Increases magic. Da, 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 da. Yeah, what the heck, we'll do this melee-ish. Oh, nope. So we can have the Cleric, which actually looks kind of cool. Pretty standard Western armored warrior type. Da -da 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 -da. And apparently we're pardoned prisoners recruited to the army. Da -da 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 -da. At the cost of agility, so I don't know if that affects your rolls, if how many uh, mechanics they kind of ripped off the Dark Souls here. But yeah, if you notice, uh, it does change your beginning class just a little bit to mix up equipments and uh, magic types. I'm actually kind of liking that. This is pretty much how I pretty much play Dark Souls, so I might as well. Oh, yeah, maybe at the beginning we'll change things up. So we'll go ahead and play it as a brawler. Frustrated because you can't strike, block, or evade? Are you sure you have enough energy? Probably not. Next hint. If wearing full armor is too much of a burden, try mixing yourself with pieces of light armor or wearing only selected helmets. Yeah, old hat to Dark Souls veterans. <laughs> Got some footsteps here of lonely dude. The remote lands of prayer, the Hand of God Mountains. Must be the hand of God that of which I speak. God, creator and destroyer of worlds. Hear my vow. <laughs> Got some stuff on your face there, Harkin. Oh, ugly. Which one of me is 
real punk. Must be that one. Boom. It's cool looking little mask looks a little more Scandinavian and Nordic. Look what you did, Harkin. I see you've heard me. Keystone, Hand of God Mountains. A different time. A different war. So we've got some cycle going on here. I wonder if it is still safe. Probably not. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. I mean, this isn't a monastery where they just have bodies and random fires going around. Can't judge the religion, man. Hey, cool guy. Sleeping on guard duty again, aren't you? Well, thank you for dueling your axe. Fighting a Rogar is quite a challenge. Other than the basic sports and marauder, just ahead of you by pressing your left stick. You don't need help now, just press B. And with that, we'll go through it. Gee, what's all it's different? First rule of combat is focus. To focus your senses and camera on your opponent, press right stick now. And with that, I'll, do I'll try and do this in company, why not? Notice the two brackets that appear around enemies' HP and a sound cue. Tip. This strategy is very often forgotten by unexperienced warriors. But not Dark Souls, people. Bam, there we go. The most intuitive way of not getting hit is a block. To raise your shield, you need to press and hold left bumper now. Tip, not all shields can block all damage. And we'll see if mine can. And not quite. Looks like I get a little bit of chip damage here. Okay. Timing. Any behavior is bound by the same rules as yours. They can be staggered like the Marauder now. Is, wait, is this a Rogue or a Marauder? Huh. Uh, it's a perfect time window for a strike. Try a fast hit with right bumper. Tip. Weapons have different move sets, meaning not all strikes fit all time windows. Alright. Shabam. Don't stop now. If you press right bumper again, the next attack will follow on smoothly. Evasion is also a perfectly viable strategy, but needs the right timing. Tilt the left stick to either side, left or right, and holding it, press A. Oh, great. That's already different than Dark Souls. We'll see how many deaths that caused me. Uh, tip. While you are on the ground during a row, you are invincible. But be aware that you are not whilst getting up and down. Uh, so, yeah. We'll see uh, their, how picky they are with their invisibility frames. If it's... Dark Souls 1 or, like, lame God of War. Dark Souls 2. Kind of role we got working with. A, though. It's a lot different. <laughs> I didn't even roll. <laughs> Heavy strikes work similar to fast ones, they just take more time in exchange for more damage. Press right trigger to really hurt the Marauder. Slash road lag, whatever. I wonder, is that it's supposed to be Marauder, but they didn't translate it earlier? So I think, I want to say this is a Danish game company? Something like that. I don't know. Well, I'm going to give them a right. 33, mate, what do you think of that? Get involved the next half attack with right trigger now. Go on and safe. The Marauder won't recover in time. Tip for the remainder of the game, you'll need to judge the risk yourself. Shabam. Second rule of combat is management. The orange bar at the bottom of the screen is your energy. Keep tracking it while fighting. It regenerates, but most actions consume it. Okay, so energy, not stamina, fine, whatever. By the way, congratulations on your victory! Press A to start your adventure. 
tip all threes of the bomb, health red, energy orange, and magic blue can be leveled up. Yeah, okay, great. So we got MP and stamina slash energy, which is orange instead of green, but whatever. Talk to Kazlo, which I'm assuming is this dude here. Might have been rescued Antanas, leader of the people. It's kind of just threw us in here without figuring out what the heck's going on. All right, Kazu, all you mate, while I was fighting that dude. Seriously, popped up here. When did he sneak by? Kazlo, quit desecrating the corpses. Why talk? It's locked. You're bleeding, mate. You're still losing blood, Kazlo. The Rogar got you good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. Oh, apparently we're in prison. Oh crap, I guess there were options already. I should have looked at all of them. Oh well. Uh, we've come too far to quit now. I need you to stay alive. Eh, let's be a punk. We didn't come all this way just so you could die on the doorstep. I've treated injuries like this one before. I'll deal with it once we get inside. Oh, okay, so it's just a conversation tree. Uh, how do we find a tunnel? Then it's wrong. How do we open the door? All right, so leader of the people. Let's see if we can shed some light on the situation. Besides the fact that we're apparently a convict. The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. The one whose corpses we're probably fighting. So far, I've seen only corpses. No survivors. Yep. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. Or they're all dead. Uh, da, da, da. There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps. Or a key. Yeah, big ol' hammer. Let's get to work. Alright, so we're gonna move on. Kazlo has been talked to. Find a key. Alright. There we go. There's the actual roll of which I wanted. Uh. Okay, so yeah. The top one, what is this on the Xbox? Why? Same as Dark Souls, lets you double hand. Get block. I don't know if that's actually a parry or if it's a bash. Maybe we'll find out. Yeah, some some dire happenings happened here. And so far I'm only really seeing one side. Is this supposed to be a fire, or what the heck? And he's just playing with light. Well, I'm gonna go look for a key, then. Uh... Okay, so there's a little bit of ragdolling. But it's not quite as ridiculous as Dark Souls is. And... Game design logic, apparently they decided to... Somehow put rubble in that door, but all right. Du -du 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 -du. Little alcove there, there for no reason. And the door. Let's try opening it. See what happens. None. Careful. Not all enemies are rogar, but all have their own behavior patterns. For example, some are blind, so you don't always have to fight them. Tip might want to remain quiet. Or I can just bash them on the head. Oh, hello. Ooh, yeah, got die. See if there's backstabbing in this. Yes, there is, apparently. So, I mean, it is kind of cool that, uh, you don't get souls, you get XP, and there is kind of like a gambling mechanic. Because it gives you like a multiple.